and you're back on the list. Okay, it's a big weekend, folks. OU takes on TU. Yes. Oh, and fans are getting their bling on early. Erin Christie has the three stories trending around Tulsa. At number one, female football fandom. Since the Sooners are set to play the Golden Hurricane Saturday, you should know extreme nail art is more popular than ever during football season. There's always OU, and I'm going to have to say it, there's more OU than OSU. Tina at Facial Nails can mimic Google images in minutes for everyone from sports fans to Netflix binge watchers on this tiny little canvas. I'm scared to breathe. Are you? <laughs> no, it's okay. In the spirit of the game and unbiased, serious journalism, let's go one hand to you, the other OU. You. I'm going to enjoy football and I didn't even know it. And Tina, you nailed it. Wow. At number two, say cheese. Speaking of the Sooners, OU is already gearing up for the next home game against Tennessee. You'll want your nails and your hair done because an ultra high resolution 360 degree picture will be taken at the game. We're talking 26 billion pixels, whatever that means. And number three, Restaurant Week. The annual fundraiser for the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma kicks off Saturday. 35 restaurants across Tulsa, including Doc's Wine and Food, are offering a three-course lunch or dinner. The diners come in, they order off that menu, and the restaurants will donate 10% of the proceeds. A list of reasons to attend. The money goes to help feed kids when they're not in school. And the fixed menu means not only is it a great deal, but encourages diners to branch out. And sometimes that takes a little bit of the anxiety of trying somewhere new away when you know exactly what you're going to get. Grits, they're the way to go. I'll tell you that. Restaurant week runs through the 14th. Down home goodness. That's delicious. Now you are caught up and clued in around Tulsa. I'm Erin Christie.